Well, President Trump's advisor and son-in-law, Jared Kushner, well, pushing back now against claims that he withheld information about any possible ties with WikiLeaks and Russia. You know, Senators Chuck Grassley, Dianne Feinstein, well, they're raising the possibility on the Senate Judiciary Committee as that committee has charged that Kushner failed to disclose information about supposed emails from WikiLeaks and a, quote, Russian backdoor overture to the presidential campaign. Well, Kushner's lawyer, Abby Lowell, says he turned over all of the documents the senators asked for, and they deny having any direct contact with Licky Leaks at all. Well, joining us to talk more about this is Daniel Strauss, political reporter for Politico. Daniel, good to see you this afternoon. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, is this like a, a, a miscommunication, or was there an actual withholding of what could be possible evidence? Look, there's neither side is actually saying that it's some kind of miscommunication. It's more, I guess, maybe a uh, misinterpretation, depending on who you ask. The Senate Judiciary Committee says that Kushner is not fulfilling their questions by forwarding emails they say he has, while Kushner and his lawyer, Abby Lowell, say that they've passed along all the rele relevant documents concerning WikiLeaks and any contact with Russia. Yeah, here's the letter. I got it right here from uh, Norton Ro Rose Fulbright. This is Abby Lowell's. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty strong letter. Uh, yeah. And he says, basically, there's no such thing as any missing documents. Let me read you a paragraph. He says, quote, let me start with the so-called missing documents. They are not missing at all. As I wrote, we believe that our prior production to the intelligence committees contained the most pertinent documents to your inquiry into the June 9, 2016 meeting at Trump Tower and related matters and undercut any notion that there was collusion between Mr. Kushner and Russia concerning the 2016 election. And he's talking about this uh, WikiLeaks email. He claims it wasn't at all to Kushner, and Kushner did not all email WikiLeaks, but that this was what, D uh, Donald Trump Jr., forwarding some type of email that went to a whole chain of people? Right. That is that Kushner didn't include in his batch of requested documents a forwarded email that he is on. And I, I guess we've got our statement from Kushner's lawyer here. That's a pretty strong response to critical uh, requests by the Senate Judiciary Committee here. So e both, both sides are really digging in. I mean, how can you keep track of all this? Can you remember every email you ever received or someone no. forwarded an email, email to you? And what if you got subpoenaed by the Judiciary Committee I and, mean, and you missed one, e one email someplace? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a serious matter and it's a serious charge to really, like, uh, make sure you have all your ducks in a row. I think that this is the sort of thing that happens in these investigations. But if there are these emails out there, it's important to hand them over. Well, apparently it was some type of email concerning WikiLeaks, and it went to jo Don Jr., perhaps, and then he forwarded it on to, uh, to the others, so we'll see. Meanwhile, there's the question of a meeting with a, a Russian backdoor, as they say, operative during the N N at an NRI meeting in Louisville, Kentucky. Tell us about that. Look, this is a, a meeting that apparently, according to the Senate Judiciary Committee, uh, Kushner had an involvement with, that there is an email chain about. Kushner's team and Kushner, uh, through his lawyer, say that that's not really the case, and they've provided all the documents they need to hand over on this. So they say that there's nothing else to hand over, but the Senate Judiciary Committee feels that there is this document, that there is this email, that there is sort of these... Uh, uh, correspondence about a backdoor I meeting between uh, Russian officials and uh, Kushner and that it needs to come out. Yeah, this guy was uh, identified as Alexander Torshin and they say he's a, a Putin ally. Yeah. Uh, apparently there wasn't any, tor any meeting, although the president at the time, the candidate, may have attended that NRA meeting in Louisville and Torshin was there. Uh, but let me read you the email, Kushner's email, according to Abby Lowell, that he sent uh, to, in response to this backdoor request, uh, Jared Kushner saying, quote, pass on this. A lot of people come claiming to carry messages. Very few we are able to verify. For now on, I think we decline such meetings. Most likely, these people then go back home and claim they have a special access to gain importance for themselves. Be careful. So here it is in black and white, Jared Kushner saying pass on this. I mean, that right. seems to be the reasonable, responsible thing to say if you're not colluding with Russia. It doesn't say, great, you know, let's meet him at 10 p.m. Right. in the garage. Right, exactly. And that's something that Kushner's lawyer and the White House legal team is going to bring up as more accusations of collusion come up in these investigations. That Kushner from the beginning was not pushing for any kind of close, uh, discreet interaction with Russian operatives. And it's also finally interesting to note that, that, that Jared Kushner, when 
supposedly offered a backdoor meeting or contact with Russians says, quote, pass on this. And yet Don Jr., in, you know, in the, with, the, with his friend who's the uh, pro concert promoter, he says, love it. I mean, right. what, what's the difference between the response between Don Jr., who says, love it, and has that meeting at Trump Tower, and uh, Jared Kushner, who says, uh, this ain't good? I mean, you tell me. Uh, it obviously, pass on this is a more negative statement, and it sounds like something that he's really not interested in. Meanwhile, love it is something that sounds like he's really for. Uh, that it does. Uh, Daniel Strauss of Politico, thank you. Certainly, this will not be the end of this, and we'll hear more in the coming weeks as the investigation continues. Thank you. Thanks.